Hello, Pedro here. This is a quick demo for Matrix Display, a Houdini digital asset that I created to make my life easier when I want to visualize matrix attributes, especially those that are composed of 4x4 matrices or are an array of matrices, which, for example, the visualizers do not cope with very well. So I can put here the axis, but this will only um, allow me to see 3x3 three three matrices and even not uh, arrays of matrices, just uh, a single one. So the idea here was to cope with that and so this is what I came up with. So I have here three examples. So I have a, a polygon curve where there's some frames on its points. I have a box in which, uh, so in this case, in the case of the, uh, the polygon curve, I have here the transform attribute on the points. In the case of the boxes, I have the, uh, the transform attribute on the points, on the primitives and on the detail. And so I'm going to use that to show how to select which, uh, which class I want to use. And the last example is just, uh, you know, packed, uh, this pack geos, which uh, have a primitive intrinsic of transform and packed full transform, etc. And so we can, uh, this allows me to visualize that as well. So let's, uh, let's check first the, the curve. And so the curve has this uh, transform attribute. I can see that it is a three by three matrix and it's a single value. And so just by connecting it to the digital asset allows me to, to see uh, the, the axis of those frames. So there's not many options here. So I have, I can choose the shape of, of the frames. I can, for example, have arrows, which uh, you can see the tips in there. I can have planes, which look lit, uh, a little bit like uh, some some two, two triangles together and I can scale the uh, those uh, those frames or those shapes so it's something that can be controlled in here I can also choose to keep the input or not so in this case it's it's a polygon curve you can barely see it but these are the the, the simple options now let's look into the other example the case of, of the box and so in the box what happens is that I have a uh, the same attribute transform in uh, three classes. And of course, I cannot just display the the attribute called transform. Uh, if I change this to something else, then uh, you know that will be used. In this case, there's no there's no attribute called lol. So of course, I, I get to see nothing. But the the default the auto option will pick one of them. In this case, it's picking up the points. As you can see, if I click here on keep input, you can see that the this uh, chain of four by four matrices is coming out of the points. But I can explicitly say that instead of points, I want primitives. And so this gives me the, uh, the transform attribute that is present on the primitives, or I can put also here detail. And so this is uh, the, the values that I have here in this array. And so this, this is where the maybe the uh, the asset shines a little bit more in the case of, of arrays because it's it's a bit more uh, more annoying to to set up uh, something to visualize them here now uh, this example allows me to show other things so for example i can have here these options to sort of interpret the the matrix data so the um you'll notice that this object is rotated so and and it's i moved it so if i come here you can see that there's there are some uh, transformation values and so you can, the visualization uh, moves with with that but i can choose to sort of mute the object transformation so if i click here mute object transform you'll notice that now it's like the object is sitting at the origin instead of the its current pose another option in here is to mute the translation and so translation is in this case it only works when the attribute is a four by four matrix in 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 which in each case uh, in which case it has translation information so i have these matrices being offset from from each other they are not all at, at the same position so when i click that they all go to the point where uh, that they belong to i can also usually this is on by default but i can instead of having the instead of having the, the matrices being placed in their context or in the you know on the element in this case the point i can have them sit at the at the origin so something like this and of course if i remove all the positions the translation the object transformation and the placement on the element well what i see are uh, matrices sitting at the origin okay so 
uh, let's uh, let's look into the last example. Of course, I have here the a base group which allows me to choose to see just a portion of these. So I can come here, select this, and I I will only visualize for these two points. Uh, depending on the uh, the type of attribute that I'm choosing, I need to change here uh, this as well. So if I went to a group of primitives, I need to change this to primitives, and now I can uh, select just the, these, for example, and it works like that. So uh, the the last example is uh, to use the packed, uh, the primitive intrinsics. And so let me put this on. And so in this case, I have uh, here these cubes being instantiated. So they're copied to the points and they are packed. And if I put this to auto, you see that the um, you can see the, those uh, those matrices being displayed in there. So the, by default, uh, it's going to display the transform, but I can explicitly here put the packed full transform, which contains position information. And since uh, you know these are placed on the element, it's going to look like it's going to add the position two times. So if I turn this off now, it looks it looks the same. But yeah, so let me know what you what you think of of the asset and if there's something that you would add. I really think it's uh, useful, especially for the case of arrays of, of matrices, because to me it was really uh, cumbersome to have to set it up every, all, all the time. And so now it's really easy. Cheers.